everybody, welcome back to City Skylines, to the Aurelia City. Today we will move towards the river, to this place over here, and we will build a big shopping center. Together with an elevated tram stop, a ferry stop, the first one in the city, and all kinds of detailing. So the center point, or the focus of this entire place, is going to be this one huge building. Now this is, uh, this is apparently a real-life uh, shopping mall from Korea, I think. I'm not exactly sure how the name of this building is pronounced. I'll probably show you the page for it in the workshop right here. Now, this building is so huge that you can basically just place it down and that's it. You now successfully built an entire city district because it's just so huge and it's so detailed on its own. It has all kinds of little details on the roof especially and uh, even around it some, some trees and all that. I obviously got rid of that because I want to detail in my own. It also comes with its own road and some kind of fake underground entrance for parking maybe, so that's kind of nice. But obviously we are going to make it a bit more customized. I really wanted to place this building for a long time already. I was not exactly sure where to place it because it's kind of special and it needs to have its own uh, place really. You can't just place it somewhere and uh, you know, it needs to have its own its own place, basically. All, all kinds of detailing around it to, to fit it so that it's the focus of uh, some district that you are that you are doing. Obviously, if you are detailing, you can obviously just put it down and be done with it. That's pretty much what I did with, uh, with the Rockdale City. I used this building there as well, and uh, it was a very distinctive landmark of the city. Now, uh, what exactly are we going to do in this place, and how it's going to look like? So, the center, as you can see, is placed right on the side of the river, right? Now, this is, of course, the main river that goes, uh, you know, through the center of the map, so it's the big river that uh, you definitely know from all kinds of cinematic shots from the previous episodes. Now, it also borders the, the corner where the tiny little canal, let's call it, goes to the, to the dam, to the dam that we placed a couple of episodes back, and all those places that we uh, were building in, this, uh, in these past few episodes. So, this is pretty much an extension of the places that we, that we did. And this place is also going to be, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the, the end point, but there's definitely going to be the bus line that we built in the previous episode with the with the light rail station. You remember we placed that uh, bus stop in there and I talked about the new line that we built in there so that it's going to continue in towards the river area, which is exactly this place. But the bus line is probably going to continue a bit more from this area, probably past that uh, train station that you saw there, just so that people can, uh, can obviously transfer from that uh, train station into or to the buses and then continue probably home into those uh, suburb areas, right? So it makes sense that it's all connected. So what are we building in, in this place though? So uh, I really wanted to have trams go through this area. It makes sense, it's a big shopping center, it definitely needs some public transport, uh, more public transport than just buses. There is a train station nearby and that's exactly why I built that elevated uh, road right there uh, along these tracks, this one, this road that goes into the building. I'm later going to detail in some entrances, fake entrances obviously, but this is, this is the road that goes from the train station so that people, pedestrians, can uh, reach this place without using public transport other than the train, of course. And there's going to be some interesting projects next to the train station, so it makes sense that it's all going to be connected, although I don't really want to spoil it too much. Now, this, uh, this, these tracks are already, or were already mostly in this area anyway, because uh, if you remember, I think when I was building the residential bridge episode, that's kind of a long time ago already, I did an extension of a tram line that went underneath this bridge and continued along the river. So that's exactly this line. It was going along the river and it was clear that it needs to continue all the way to this place. But uh, since we are, you know, in the futuristic theme, I really wanted to do something special for this stop. I didn't really want to put it on the ground and have it uh, as just part of the road. It wouldn't be all that interesting. So I decided to keep it separate and uh, build it as an elevated uh, tracks and put some kind of a nice elevated stop uh, for it. So that's exactly what I'm doing right here. I used the uh, ground uh, ground uh, tracks in here so that I can obviously put 
uh, put the station on it and have it a bit more interesting obviously to have it detailed and all that and not be limited by the borders of an elevated road even though I want I could use the elevated stops uh, enabler even though that mod is somewhat difficult to work with it doesn't work exactly like I would want it to uh, from from the past episodes so I rather use these uh, these uh, these uh, surface networks or surface tracks and just elevate them and put something below them, for example, the terraforming network to just put the ground uh, down again. But you then need to just detail uh, the, the, the underneath the tracks so that you don't have the holes into the ground. But that's not really a problem because this project is, uh, is definitely going to have detailing, so that's not a big deal. So uh, the elevated stop, as you can see, is going to have this uh, outline that uh, I really wanted to have uh, somewhat organic. So the shape is, uh, you know, just random, random, random curves along uh, along that elevated portion there. And it's obviously filled with the pavement, the, the pavement uh, tiles that came with the uh, ploppable asphalt mod, right? Now down here, already towards the river, we have uh, we have a ferry stop, a first ferry stop in the city. Now this series has been going over. Uh, for over a year actually and uh, this is the first ferry stop in the city. It's the only one so just like with the Altengrad episode I'm not really going to have uh, like a proper ferry lines going anywhere because well actually no it's not the first ferry stop is it? We already built one ferry stop in the in the big dam yeah like a couple of episodes well, quite a long time ago I think the dam was episode 7 or something like that so actually 40 episodes back interesting so maybe I could already do a ferry line there, uh, even though I don't really want to do that just yet because there's going to be a couple more ferry lines uh, or ferry stops uh, along the river. So after we are done with majority of them, I'm probably going to set up the line, but not just yet. So we only have that static uh, static uh, boat right there, although this is the floating version of the boat, which is nice because it goes up and down uh, as, as the waves obviously arrive in here. So that's good. At least we have some ships in here docked, uh, unlike uh, unlike the Altengrad waterfront that I was forced to keep empty. So we also need to provide all kinds of connections between these different levels. So all the way from the tram level to the ferry, ferry stop level, we have this elevator building, procedural objects, of course, so we can do the height properly. And we have some stairs uh, from the road level to the to the ferry level. And also on this side, we have this uh, this uh, stone road that just goes smoothly to towards uh, up towards the uh, road level, right? So all kinds of all kinds of traffic can obviously reach this place down here because this is a functional ferry stop, so it needs to have a road access for uh, like garbage collection and all those kinds of things. Now I also wanted to have this wall, this retaining wall, this key in here, a bit more interesting. So I decided to just uh, put some random procedural objects, uh, shops in there. Maybe it's like, uh, I don't know, uh, places where people can buy tickets for ferries or just, I don't know, some tiny restaurants uh, where can they buy, I don't know, coffee, ice cream when they are waiting for the ship or, you know, something like that just to make it a bit more interesting. Now, I was uh, in this episode really focused on just doing that uh, tram stop area, pretty much, uh, right in front of the shopping center, of course. So I didn't really finish this entire block between the highway and the, the train station, the, the train tracks, pretty much. So that's going to be for some, some next episodes, I guess. But I just placed a couple of buildings all around this place, so it's not that empty. I did also some detailing, but like I said, I mostly focused on the on the tram stop with the ferry stop and just the waterfront in here, the key and all that. And I didn't really detail all around the shopping center, especially from you know the opposite side from the train station, so tram station, sorry. So that's going to be kept for some future episodes and we are definitely going to see this place some more. Because I started doing this uh, thing that's not exactly all that good, but not bad either. And uh, it's the fact that I started doing projects, individual projects. And between the places where I did those projects, I completely left some places without anything, without any buildings, detailing, nothing. So that's a problem uh, that we will have to address. It's the place that uh, we left between this shopping center and, for example, the light rail station and even the light rail station and the roundabout. So pretty much all these pockets of uh, just empty blocks that we will have to address and rebuild. So we will definitely see the shopping center again. We will definitely see the light rail station again in some episodes. And we will definitely see the dam, the smaller dam that we built 
couple of episodes back as well, because on the opposite side of it, we haven't really finished, uh, we haven't really touched that part of the map at all. So we will definitely see uh, these projects again, because uh, we just can't really leave them just yet. And like I said, in these episodes, I'm pretty much just focusing on the projects itself, on, on themselves, so which means uh, I just built the light rail station, the, the shopping center in here with some details in front of it, but it's so huge, it's a, such a huge project, uh, most of these, that I will have to address them in some next episodes and just finish places all around them, right? So the entire city just uh, just fits together like a, like a puzzle, right? I'm just making these pieces of puzzle, but I need to just now connect them to the rest of the city. Yes, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, so what's happening in the time lapse anyway? Uh, I'm, build I'm building a second train station, sorry, tram station over here. It's sometimes a bit confusing if this is a train or a tram because I'm still using the light rail uh, trams, tram tracks in here, even though this line is going to see the regular urban, the small, the washing machine trams in here because it's the line that goes right into the downtown and I don't really want to change, change the vehicles for it because this line is going on the street level between cars and pedestrians and all that, so I don't really want to switch it for the bigger vehicles. Yeah, that, that's exactly the vehicles that I have on this line. You can see it right here. So this small this small stop is going to serve that big building that I placed right across the street. Now, that's a high school. It's a building that has a really high capacity of students. I think uh, 1,500? No, 3K, I think, or maybe even more. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think 3K. And uh, that's quite a lot of people, and they definitely need some sort of uh, high-ish capacity uh, public transport. So definitely not a bus, uh, preferably train, but uh, a tram stop is going to be sufficient, I believe. So that's exactly why the stop is in here. Obviously some detailing with some lines and you know crosswalks and all that. Now this stop is right next to this bridge. This bridge is not really leading anywhere right now. It's just going to be a connection over this uh, this canal. This is not the main river by the way. This is just the canal. You will see that you will see it all in the cinematics how this place is uh, is done where exactly it is uh, compared to the rest of the city of course. So we are still on the on the elevated tracks. Uh, these tracks are actually not going up and down pretty much at all in this place. Uh, that's why we have the elevated stop uh, in front of the shopping center, but the tracks go pretty much straight towards that uh, small stop in front of that high school because uh, the terrain just goes up and down, but the tracks go pretty much uh, completely straight all the way from the train station that is placed uh, just on the opposite side of this uh, this shopping mall the train station that we we saw a long time ago when i was building i think the highway interchange in this place if you remember that that was a really long time ago and uh, i just kept that train station again unfinished that's another story of uh, from you know from the series of unfinished places that i just have in this in this city but uh, that train station is probably going to see some action very very soon so hopefully that's going to be wrapped up in that place now uh, we are back with that main tram station in front of the shopping center and uh, this is obviously a place where we need to do some heavy detailing. So this place is still going to be quite green. We are not exactly in the downtown, so we can definitely afford to uh, waste some space with some, with some trees and bushes and all kinds of decorations and flowers and all that and lots of empty empty spaces because the shopping building itself the shopping center the shopping mall is so huge that we can definitely afford to have some open spaces around it i didn't really want to waste this building somewhere in the downtown because like i said in the beginning it's a very special building that uh, that definitely looks better when it's placed alone somewhere and you just detail all around it with some nice plazas and just, you know, its own networks and all that. So that's definitely going to be looking all right. So I'm also detailing some of these uh, border fences and walls uh, on the on the first level uh, with the with the ferry stop, and in here it's just going to be some like chill areas with benches, maybe overlooking the river. Uh, these uh, lower lower levels, so these two that I'm building, I'm actually going to replace with grass. I'm not going to have concrete in there because uh, the concrete pavement texture is going to be on top on the on the tram stop area, and I th I figured that there's just going to be a bit too much of that concrete in this place so it definitely makes sense to put some green uh, surfaces on these lower lowest levels and i'm also going to use just the gravel on the road uh, level let's call it where the keys 
where the tops of the keys are and together with these benches because they are they're very uh, colorful and uh, it's just going to help this place uh, to, to separate the color levels of, uh, of the top layer where the tramps are and obviously all the rest of the levels and then it's just going to be a straightforward detailing on the top level I'm taking care to use uh, the same style of detailing between these tram stops just to make them look very similar and it's going to help uh, have this place more more in one style let's call it right so even these crosswalks in here and these yellow lines everywhere and some some tiny little details are going to be also very very similar there's also going to be uh, the paths that I'm going to place there and some trees some plants flowers uh, you know the usual kind of detailing anyway guys we are nearing the end of uh, today's episode I have uh, a few things that I first want to mention before we go to the cinematic so the first thing is that uh, I'm seriously considering uh, doing some live streaming again I think I might actually do those uh, those empty spots in Aurelia uh, the reason for doing the live stream as well is the fact that uh, Aurelia is one year old already the first video of the Aurelia series was released uh, on the 2nd of August 2018. Although I was building the city quite a lot earlier, I think when Park Life came out, but I started making videos of it a couple of months later because I really wanted to wrap up the, the Rockdale series first on, on YouTube, right? So so that's nice. So in, in order to celebrate that, I guess, we definitely need to do some live stream, right? So definitely keep, uh, keep looking at my Twitter and uh, probably the community posts here on YouTube because I will probably announce uh, some sort of date and time for the live stream right there, okay? So that's one thing. And the other things, that's the usual stuff. I hope you guys liked today's Aurelia episode. If you did, then you can rate it with thumbs up, leave some comments, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, as well as check the other links below this video. And the last thing, if you want to directly support this channel, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below. Thank you guys for watching today's Aurelia episode. I will see you next time. Take care and goodbye.